the exercise of the natural and inalienable right to privacy entails allowing an individual the right to a self-determined sexual orientation. Thus, it is imperative to widen the scope of the right to privacy to incorporate a right to sexual privacy to protect the rights of sexual minorities emanating from the inalienable right to privacy the right to sexual privacy must be granted it's important now the sanctity of a natural right and be protected under the constitution as fundamental to liberty and as a soul mate of dignity so my right now my lord is cast in stone by first the nine judges and this and if i may say so my lord in retrospect i was thinking in some measure we are revisiting this issue though this issue is decided so my lord that's why i said my lord when we want request a declaration from my lordships the declaration should not only be a badge that i wear a badge by saying that the supreme court has given me the right to say that i am married but my lord it must at least go forward even in some limited extent not my lord the entire panoply of all the laws but at least my lord in those laws which are otherwise secular and which do not touch my lord personal laws where that right has to flow and give me something real i have made a list of four or five items my lord as an example take my lord payment of gratuity act other acts we provide pension they provide my lord only to a spouse where the underlying thing that you are married i am going to give you my lord some of them one of them my lord is the hold on no. i will give you my lord one of them is <laughs> judge's pension a judge's pension will go to a spouse. Now a spouse presupposes that you have to be married. So if one of us, my lord, becomes a judge and then he gets a pension, tomorrow an issue will arise. Whether you are going to, who will get that pension? My lord, for example, under the Income Tax Act, a gift is exempt from tax, my lord, as between members of a spouse which predetermines lord, a marriage. Now if you are going to do that, how will that work, my lord? So there are a large number of acts. So the secular acts, where, my lord, this issue doesn't arise of, my lord, uh, uh, personal laws. So the effect or declaration of marriage must flow to get us real rights where, my lord, these day-to-day -day things, at least in secular parts, are, my lord, involved. Motor Vehicles Act, Gratuity Act, Pension Act, this is, uh, my, lord, my lord, Juvenile Justice Act provides for, my lord, uh, adoption says you can't adopt as a living you can't adopt unless you are married so all those below those at least it must flow otherwise what will happen i get a i'm sorry to use the phrase i get a declaration i get a badge five years ago five years ago i got that there'll be no criminalization after five years i get this badge then below when i go somewhere again those problems arise they say no supreme court doesn't give you anything given you a badge of being married fine in society, you can go around and say, I am a couple who is married. But what is the real impact on the ground? Therefore, my lord, I have framed one or two reliefs, which I will indicate. I am only saying, my lord, idea should not be to go on revisiting the same issue from Puntu Swami and Navtej, back and forth, back and forth. And we should only, at the end, if your lordships give me some, my lord, uh, declarations. As and when in some other issues, something has to be fleshed out, it will come back to court. Nobody can, my lord, think of impossible.